welcome back to watching Nelly doing things. I am back to talk about some new makeup. You guys already know the deal. So the new makeup we're gonna be talking about today is from iHeart Revolution. This is the Joker, Harley Quinn, and I even have the Catwoman eyelashes. So guys, I got two palettes and a eyelash to talk about today. But before I jump all the way into these goodies, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly Doing Things. And as well, don't forget to leave a comment below. And on top of that, don't forget to hit that notification button while you're down there as well. So guys, let's jump right on into these goodies, y'all. So I did pick up all of these from my local Tarjay. These do retail for $9.99 each. And then the lashes, I believe these were $6.99 to $9.99. I really like the outside. It has like all her slogans on there. It even has the movie Suicide Squad. Well, I believe this palette is called Little Crazy. They do have that on top of the palette in red. It says Little Crazy at the top. All her sayings on there, all her quirks and sayings, like Little Monster. You open her up, she's all graffitied out and she has a cute little mirror inside. I love these small palettes with baby mirrors. <laughs> and then we open her up. Now, you guys know I hate these kind of films, but these have the shade names on these little things. Just, I just wish they were like permanently connected to it so I wouldn't have to keep slapping it on there, you know? And then you have all of the cute nine shades right there. Very cute. And all the matte shades in this palette, they do have the Harley Quinn printed in there. So like her ponytails, her face and stuff, it's really cute. So this palette is quite small and medium size because it's only as big as the palm of my hand. But this is a really cute size. I just, I like the size. Last of the palettes is the Joker palette. So traditionally, you guys already know the Joker gonna have all the laughing, the ha-has, the hee-hees all over the palette. And they have a big old Joker right down in the middle and then his big old crooked evil smile right in the center. And the Joker palette is called, it has at the top, it says the joke's on you. Ooh, trying it. I do like this packaging though. I'm like, it's very much Joker, very much. So from the Harley Quinn one to this one, this is more of the darker edition. So you open the palette, little baby mirror again. And of course it gives you that little film with the names on it. But look at these colors. Nice, nice, nice. And they do have the Joker's face imprinted in all of the matching. All right, last out the packaging, guys. It is the Catwoman Volume Lashes. This is such a cute packaging. It is a black glitterified cat mask pretty much on the front of the box. Has her lashes right in there to give you that cat fluttery effect. And then you take out the tray and then the lashes are right on there. Very, very cute. I did give you guys, as you can see, two looks, and then we did pop on this lash today. And if you wanna know how I got this look, just stay tuned.
y'all hope you enjoyed the tutorials i know i did i had a lot of fun putting these on so this is considered like a palette battle y'all so we are going to see which palette did beat the other all right so jumping back into the palettes the harley quinn one the little crazy palette and if you guys see i put a little liner brought it down a little bit made a little more blushy on the eye this look actually came out very very cute so to test out these shadows in different palettes i said i'm using my skin tone base or concealer and i want to see if it really pops this one unfortunately i wanted that blue to pop more i mean it's popping but it took a lot of building up to do so i was a little bit let down by the mattes except for this hot pink one right there that one is called pudding so pudding was really really nice i was like okay i can see how because it's very very bright very more neon hot pink but i really wanted all of the mattes to work like that these two right here kind of like the light purple and the light pink those look literally the same y'all the blue of course differs and she does have that pop eventually but like i said it's a lot of building up i did use three shimmers i used crazy doll and wild size i did use the purple crazy that one was pretty she was cute and then i did end up using doll it's like a light minty shimmer silver green i mixed it with the blue at the top she's cute she blended away with the blue though a little bit but she's She's cute. Wild side, this white one, very pivoted. This color scheme, y'all, of these palettes are very cute. I do like this whole vibe. I feel like overall it gave me a very cute look. It just takes some building to make it a look. That's the one thing I didn't care about. I like the name, the packaging. I like the color, the color story, period. I love it. I wish it was a red though, like a deeper red, because I think she did a lot of red, blues, and little pinks. I like that little mixture. She's overall a cute palette though. So now we're going to the dark side. The jokes on you palette. This was an interesting one. This does have different finishes and textures to the shadows. The top right here, that blue one, that's kind of a silky putty texture for a blue shadow. It's a very, very pretty. And I did put it underneath my eye, my waterline, and it went on, it glided very well. So I was like, I didn't have to build that one up at all. So I was like, awesome, awesome, awesome. I love that shade. The orange one, it is matte with pinpoints of gold in there. That was really cool. I did put it in mixture with the red at the bottom. She was okay though. She didn't show up too much on my skin, but I wonder on top if I would have made it more orangey because I did put red and yellow because I was like, you know, you guys already know I'm gonna try the yellow. But the orange one, it was, it was okay. I used this whole row, so purple, red, and yellow. Again, yellows are very, very hard palettes to show for my golden undertone skin. She did okay. She's not bad. She's not bad. I would like more and I would like it to be more blendable instead of it fading away because I had to build that up a little bit more, but not too much. The red did fantastic. We already know. This is the red I kind of wanted in the Harley Quinn palette, but Joe Grass said, I'll take it. I'll take it. And then we have the dark maroon kind of berry color. Just this middle section alone went together very, very well. So my background, it really did pop. The last row, the silvers and that bright green. Bright green, I wanted her to work so much better. The Harley Quinn one, the blue one didn't work like I wanted to, and the green one didn't work like I wanted to. It showed up, but I had to build it up. I don't know, it's like the most bright standout colors in the palette. like you had to build it up if it wasn't for like that putty feel of that blue one probably would have done the same but that green one i wanted more impact like i said it's not like non-pigmented at all but it just didn't she didn't give it to me and i wanted it like one like literally one swatch alone i wanted to be like whoo but it was just okay those mattes that actually that pop of color in the palette it takes building up to do so again that's a mm, downfall in a way and then the traditional gray silver right here I did use this one with the blue in the bottom. I think it came out really, really cool. I did use this light color right at the top. She blended away with the green. So that one was a little wonky too, but both of those are mattes. But overall, the, this palette, I feel like it hit different. I feel like every row you can get a certain look from a kind of Joker aspect, kind of super villain vibe to it. So that was really cool about this palette. I was expecting like, okay, I'm gonna see green, red, green, red is white. And you know, that's why I expected the palette to overall be with the blue and purple and grays and yellows. It threw me off a little bit. I was like, oh, I didn't think it was gonna have those extra pops of color. So that was cute. And last but not least is the lashes. Y'all know on this channel, I try on multiple lashes. We have beautiful lash hauls on this channel. Go check them out, by the way, if you like. I love the vibe of it all, but these are costume lashes. They really are. I've seen the lash band. I said, 
These them custom lashes, I can't stand it. They're not three dimensional. They're not nothing like that. Like I said, they're cute. The hairs on them are very soft and fluttery. That is very pretty, but that lash band is atrocious. It is so stiff and it's very like Halloween lashes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that lash band, like, yeah, you wear that for that one night during trick or treating, one night. Do I feel like it's like a cat eye? No, this is not very cat eye. I have lashes that are very kitty cat looking, very more rare, you know, give it a little sharper look on the ends and tips of your lashes. It's fluttery, but this is, this lash is not kitty cat. This is not a fierce lash. This is a very much costume lash. So if they were gonna really do cat woman lashes, I feel like they really should have gave it that full effect. Should have been really thinner in the front and then really, really flare out very sharply at the end. These lash hairs, soft and pretty, nice and little curly and fluttery, but cat eye, I think not. So these lashes were a bust for me. I was like, the name didn't match and that lash band is atrocious. Out of the palette battle, the winner is gonna have to be the Joker. The Joker did win, because overall, these colors, I can try all kinds of different looks with it and most of these shadows in here were all pigmented only a few i had to build up compared to the harley quinn one she did overall to give a very cute soft dainty look but there's too much building and too many colors that match together so the joker he won yes i wanted the girls to win i wanted harley to win but the joker he was like come on come on now you don't want to win Crazy as it is, crazy psychotic looking palette, but it won. So guys, overall, I think everything with this DC collection with iHeart Revolution, I feel like it was cute, very, very cool. I hope they keep doing these sizes. I think the sizes are very, very good and very just convenient. Again, I like the convenient little palettes. The mirror inside is a A+. Plus. The shimmers in a lot of these palettes are very cute but I would like to have seen more matte and I wanted them to make them more pigmented, especially those pops of color. I want to be more pigmented. So there's some misses in there. I want them just to fix that. Overall, the palettes were very cute. I think the theme of it all, if you wanna try this look one day, that look one day, you'll get it with these palettes. The lashes again, I feel like completely down. Didn't follow the theme, the lash band's atrocious. I don't care for them. They said the lash line crispy. I was like, nope. So overall, those lashes to me were just a no. It was a bust. So guys, I thank you for watching me, which is Nelly Doing Things. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly Doing Things. And as well, don't forget to leave a comment below. Guys, tell me which one you are. Are you team Harley Quinn or team Joker? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the notification button before you go. You guys already know what I'm about to say. I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye.